All right, let's do this. This video will be all about the installation of the new Venhill Featherlight clutch cable for the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 and the Continental GT650. I love maintaining my Interceptor 650. Getting busy with motorcycle and fixing things that need fixing is a therapeutic experience for me. One of the things on my list since a very long time has been the sort of laggy, crunchy clutch cable. And I can only describe it as a tiny bit irritating. Initially it was okay, but not perfect. Something that I wanted to address. Most of the times it feels good. But then after every now and then it feels like it is coming in contact with something. Like crunchy when you engage it. This is an issue which I have had since I bought the motorcycle and it did not go away when I changed the levers. So in order to address this issue in this video, we will remove the factory cable and install the new Venhill Featherlight clutch cable specifically designed for the Royal Enfield twins. Venhill, a British company based in Surrey and they have been around for half a century. Probably one of the most, if not the most, respected names in high quality cables for vehicles. This featherlight cable for the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 uses a military grade Kevlar wire with a Teflon lined sleeve for that smoother pull. They even come in a variety of colors. This cable feels premium and high quality in the hand and has a decent weight to it and it is beautifully made. I can assure you, there is no comparison of this with the factory cable. Now removing the stock cable, there are a couple of clips that you need to remove and they are easily removable. Just be careful to not use excessive force and break them accidentally. After that, using a 12mm spanner, loosen the two bolts holding the clutch cable and remove the cable from its clevis. Then spray a bit of my favorite spray, a WD-40 to remove the rubber sleeve and then remove the cable entirely from the socket. Back on the handlebar, gently remove the cable from the lever. Then free up the rubber bushing inside the headlight holder and then just slide the cable out. When the cable is out, Let's just use this opportunity to clean the lever by disassembling the clutch lever and re-lubricating it. I'm just using some good old fashioned WD-40 to loosen up the previous loop on both the lever and the groove. Give it a good vibe. Before installing the new cable, it is worth cleaning up the old cable and keeping it as an emergency backup. You never know when it might come in handy. And the fresh lubrication that I'll be using here is a chain spray from Worth. It is very good for joints and hinges and it has really good adhesion properties. So it should last a while. I have also installed this rubber sleeve on this clutch cable as I live in a very dusty area. So I am frequently lubing my clutch cable and under constant fear that it might break someday while riding the motorcycle. You can easily get this sleeve from any local motorcycle part dealer. Now to install the new clutch cable, just insert the cable adjuster on the new cable and locate the inner cable into the eyelet of the clutch lever. And then reroute the cable between the headlamp holder and down towards the opposite side. During this, you can put the two plastic clips back on, which will help secure the cable, but ensure that the cable is definitely away from the exhaust pipe headers. You don't want to burn them. Then wind one nut all the way on the thread. Then insert the cable into the clutch assembly and get the second nut on and secure it in place. Then install the rubber bushing and finally insert the end of the cable back into the clevis and then make the final adjustment on the clutch cable. 
I like to make the tiny adjustments from down here and keep no play on the cable adjuster. And back at the handlebar, make sure the free play is not more than 2 to 3 millimeters. Then just do a final cleaning of excess lube. And put the sleeve on top of the lever. Even though this doesn't look that nice, it is the practicality for which I have put this on as it will help prevent 90% of dust entering the clutch cable. And you're done. Surely you will need to adjust it again after some time. As this is a new cable and that is completely normal. From my initial impression, I can instantly tell that the pull is just super butter smooth and a lot lighter. I felt that while doing some test runs here in the park and it just became more premium. I love it. I can't wait to ride this more and do a long term review of this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next video.